Have you ever been playing a game and thought, dang, it would be so nice to play this with more modernized graphics? In today's gaming economy, remasters are incredibly prevalent. With games like Tales of Symphonia Remastered, Mega Man Battle Network Collection, and Bot and Kaito's Collection, we're able to relive games from our childhood or perhaps experience them for the first time on modern hardware. Some may say that remasters are too common, but I say we need more. There are way too many games that deserve remasters. Hey, welcome back to Shinky Plays, and today I'm talking about the top 5 games I think the world could use a remaster of. My list of most desired HD remasters is probably different from your list of desired HD remasters. Let me know what your desired HD remasters are in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and let's get into the meat and potatoes of my top 5 dream HD remasters. The first games I want to talk about that deserve HD remasters are Golden Sun and Golden Sun The Lost Age released in 2001 and 2002 for the Game Boy Advance. The Golden Sun duology is slated to be released on Nintendo Switch Online, however, I feel of all games this 100% deserves an HD remaster, or even better, an HD 2D remake. I feel that Golden Sun and its sequel are games that absolutely deserve to be played by everyone. The Jin system is so unique and hasn't been replicated by any other games as of yet, and the puzzles were amazing and the characters are super enjoyable. As a bonus, if it sold well, which it totally would, it might actually convince Camelot to step away from Mario's sports games and finish off that cliffhanger that was left to rot in Golden Sun Dark Dawn. The next games I want to talk about are Star Tropics and Star Tropics 2, released in 1990 and 1994 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. If you have searched around my channel, you would know how much I adore Star Tropics, the series that Nintendo has abandoned. Star Tropics is a series that needs to be in the spotlight again, and a remaster would be the perfect way to do that. Star Tropics with modern graphics would blow my mind, and Star Tropics 2 desperately needs a new paint job, as it was quite bland in the colors department. Who knows, with a remaster, we might see this series brought back from the dead and have it become one of Nintendo's top IPs again. If a remaster did happen, I would want it to be just that. Don't get rid of the grid system from the first game, just pretty up those graphics and let everyone experience its greatness. On to the next ones. Dark Cloud and Dark Cloud 2 were RPG dungeon crawlers released in 2000 and 2002 for the PlayStation 2. These games, when released, were kind of a sleeper hit. They aren't the most popular of games, however, the people that enjoy them really enjoy them. Some even saying that Dark Cloud 2 is the best game on the PlayStation 2. That is quite a claim with bangers like Ligaia 2, Final Fantasy X, and Tales of the Abyss on the same console. Both Dark Cloud and Dark Cloud 2 have since been re-released on the PS4, however, those are just straight ports and could really benefit from full remasters or possibly even remakes with this beautiful anime and cel-shaded art style. Now this is a big one. The Quintet Quadrilogy consists of four games. Soul Blazer, released in 1992, Illusion of Gaia, released in 1993, and Terra Enigma, released in 1995. The first three games released on the Super Nintendo. There's also a fourth game in the series, The Groundstream Saga, released in 1997 on the PlayStation 1. However, for this video, I will be focusing on the first three games in the series. One of the main reasons I would love to have these games remastered is I personally never got a chance to play them myself, and I hear they are some of the best action RPGs the console has to offer. While graphically they still hold up well, I feel they would definitely benefit from the HD 2D style. Not to mention, here in North America, we never got a localization of Terra Enigma, much like Live Alive, and that remaster was amazing. While emulation is always an option, I definitely would not mind a graphical overhaul and widescreen support, despite the fact that the games still look gorgeous to this day. And finally, onto the whole reason I wanted to create this video. Bravely Default and Bravely Second, released in 2012 and 2015 for the Nintendo 3DS. With the recent release of Bravely Default 2 in 2021... Okay, not that reason. And with how Team Asano has been absolutely killing it with games like Octopath Traveler 1 and 2 and Triangle Strategy, I feel these games need to be freed from the 3DS prison especially considering they no longer offer access to the game through the eShop as of March 2023. These games featured some amazing job systems as a throwback to Final Fantasy V and Final Fantasy Tactics. The games may need to be slightly altered as they use some of the 3DS features like the front-facing camera. I feel a remaster is the best way to bring it to the masses. I'm a sucker for job systems and this duology is definitely a contender for a few of my favorite turn-based RPGs of all time. 
While these are not all of my desired remasters, they are definitely my top five. Other games that came to mind but didn't quite make the list were Alundra, Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, and Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, among many, many others. What games do you feel deserve remasters? Let me know in the comments below. That's the meat and potatoes, folks, and I hope you have a wonderful day.